And here to tell us more about the promise of the new vaccine in fighting Ebola is the Deputy Director of the Virology Institute at Berlin's Charity Hospital, Professor Günther Schönreich. Now, do you have any doubts about the effectiveness of the new vaccine? No, I have no doubts because these vaccines have been developed in the past and already tried in animal experiments and uh, already uh, have also explored with uh, vaccines. So I think they are safe. So everything is pointing towards that direction. But all in all, we see that the number of new infections is actually not exploding anymore. So we might not have enough um, patients actually to right. test it. Right. That's great in the first place because of, of course, we want to get rid of Ebola virus. And uh, in Liberia, it seems to be the case. Yeah. Uh, but there are still cases in Guinea and Sierra Leone. And of course, it would be a problem if there are no Ebola virus cases anymore for the testing of the vaccination. So, um, but anyway, we have to have this experience. We yeah. have to have the knowledge that these vaccines are safe and at least that thing can be settled. Mm -hmm. So on the one hand, we actually see that the measures that had been taken um, to fight the virus are actually effective. So we don't, these numbers of new infections don't explode, but we still have a few um, cases in countries like Sierra Leone where there are still more infections coming up. Do we have to fear a new outbreak? That's definitely possible. So there's no time for complacency. We have to keep aware and it's possible that the epidemic uh, reignites, so um, it takes some time. We have to be very careful. And most importantly, we need these uh, vaccinations because there are a lot of people which are especially in danger of being infected with mm. this dangerous bug. And these, of course, are health care workers, ambulance drivers and members of the burial team. So we have to protect those people. Yeah. Otherwise, we have no chance in future outbreaks. But even if we have a vaccine right now, an, an effective vaccine, I mean, viruses can mutate very quickly. So will we have to develop another one actually with the next outbreak? Yes, indeed. That's a very important scientific question. And uh, we have uh, to keep an eye on whether the virus mutates or whether it stays stable. It's still a possibility uh, that it's going to change. But uh, it's not clear at the moment. If that mm -hmm. happens, we have to adapt the mm -hmm. vaccination. Mm -hmm. The virus uh, Ebola actually originated in bats. Um, so in order to keep uh, people from uh, being infected again, we'd have to stop these contacts that probably won't work. So how fast can actually viruses jump these uh, species barriers? If you get into close contact with uh, fruit bats, for example, or with non-human primates that are infected, uh, then it's possible that the virus jumps from the animal to the human being. And then, of course, the human being is going to be sick. Mm -hmm. So you can't avoid that because uh, it's usually people there in West Africa that like to have this bush meat mm -hmm. and therefore they slaughter uh, non-human primates, chimpanzees, for example, could happen. And that's the case. Uh, then Seriously. they can um, have an infection. Thanks yeah. a lot for the talk. Günther Schönrich.